So this next one is a funk expression. And an expression, remember, is when we have something that comes down to a value. And so the value that we're going to have here is a function, and we're going to assign it to a variable. And that's what's known as a funk expression. And so we could come to the Go Playground, and let me uh, get a fresh sheet of code here for us. And whoops, fresh sheet of code there for us. And now we're going to do a funk expression. So we want to assign a function to a variable. And so we'll have func and then whatever parameters, and then we'll have the, the function. And we'll do func.println and uh, my first func expression. And we're going to assign that to a variable. And so we'll just call that f colon equals. And then we can come down here and we can execute f. Okay, so we're not passing in any, uh, any argument. So this has no parameters. It's defined with no parameters. But then this, this right here is stored right there. So you'll hear people say that in Go, functions are first-class citizens. <laughs> like, what does that mean, first-class citizen? So when people talk about first-class citizens in a programming language, they're talking about like, hey, this could be used just like any other variable, any other type. It's fine. It's a first-class citizen. It could do what all the other types can do. And so it's not like, you know, some, some caste system, some third-class citizen can't do what first-class citizens can do. You know, a funk is a type just like any other type. It's a first-class citizen, just like the rest of these. So that's just a saying. I don't really care for that saying. I think it's confusing. But, uh, right, a function is a type just like an int or a float64 or a string or a slice or a struct or, you know, is a type or a map. A function is also a type. And so just like we could assign an int or a string to a variable, now we're assigning a function to a variable, and then we're calling that function. So let's run this. And cool. And we could also do that where we uh, pass in some arguments. And we'll pass in an int here, and we'll pass in 42. And uh, and the meaning, I don't know. This one's getting old. What other meaningful numbers are out there? <laughs> like, really, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, the year Big Brother started watching. And it was 1984, George Orwell. And uh, that's the book, 1984. George Orwell's home and camera. And so this is kind of an interesting image. And uh, here's George Orwell's home, who wrote this book, Big Brother. And uh, Big Brother was all about, you know, everybody being monitored all the time, which is the world we found ourselves in right now. 24-hour closed-circuit television recording and operation. George Orwell, novelist and political essayist, lived here 1903 to 1950. I think that's great irony right there. That's pretty cool. Love that. So we'll do that. We'll do uh, 1984. We're passing that in. And we'll pass in X right there. Format it all. And uh, and here we are redeclaring F. We want to make this G. Or we can make it F2. We'll leave it G. Whatever. All right. Format and run. So here's Hello Playground, my first funk expression, the year Big Brother started watching, 1984. So that's how we do a funk expression. We assign a function to a variable. <laughs>